Hey, how y'all doing? Hi, this is Tina from All Studio. Earlier this week, I had uh, a very inspiring little girl come in my studio. I don't normally have kids in my studio. 14 is my youngest age, but I had a mom call and ask if I would um, host a glass, a glass fusing class for her and her daughter, who's eight. And um, I figured since the mom was calling me directly and we could talk a little bit about how I would do that safely, um, that I felt more comfortable doing it. And it's actually made me reevaluate my age cutoff. Um, so I think I'm gonna change it from 14 to 10. I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, um, I wanna show you what this amazing little girl made because uh, yeah, she's amazing. So this is piece number one. And it is an adorable cabochon. Of course, she picked a heart for her bail. How adorable is that? And she was very specific that she wanted the bail on this corner. The way she designed it, and now I see it, she specifically has this little daisy piece of glass. It's kind of hard to see that here in person. You can see the petals. But she has this little daisy piece of glass right here. She wanted that to be the top of her piece and um, then I finished it off for her with a um, an adjustable where all my pieces you know just like one of those cute little adjustable necklaces and she chose the denim blue uh, satin um, twine and then she made this amazing bracelet I made the actual bracelet but this is the artwork right here an eight-year-old. An eight-year-old came up with that composition, those colors, and I'm gonna tell you something else that's pretty fabulous about this little eight-year-old that came into my studio. I've never thought about making bracelets in a cabochon class, in this class, because, um, you know, I give you one piece finished, and so I have bales that you choose, and she wanted a bracelet. And I, so I'm thinking, how can I do this? Oh, I can just put two bales on the each side and you know, we'll call it a day. And it worked out great. But now she's made me want to actually buy the proper hardware to make a bracelet. However, this works perfectly fine. I mean, look how cute that is. It's just precious. I mean, an, a, an adult would wanna wear that. That's not, just for a child. It looks so mature. And um, anyway, I just was very, I just wanted to call out this eight-year-old because I am just, you know, blown away, blown away by that. And this was what her mother made, which I thought was amazing as well. Now, you, if you saw my video yesterday, you saw that the elephant was inspired by a heart. This is not the heart that was inspiring it. The daughter actually was inspired by this heart and made something different, but a similar concept. Um, and so this uh, was the mommy, the mommy project. She made another piece too, but this was, and I love the back. She used some dichroic on the back, which I love a nice sassy back of a piece of jewelry. Anyway, they both did. Fabulous. So that's what's going on at Wall Studio this week. I've had some pretty cool things happen. But I mean, the next time you think you uh, can't do something, think of this eight year old. You can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> Have a good night. Hello, Tina from Wall Studio. Um, I cannot believe the summer is wrapping up. We only have a few weeks left. I'm sort of excited because I'm really looking forward to fall. Um, but I've had such a great summer. This is my first summer with my studio open and it has been so much fun and I've met so many amazing creative people. Uh, one of my classes that I'm teaching is a glass fusing class and I teach you how to make a cabochon and um, I've had just some amazing 
things happen and such creativity. It's inspired me. So I wanted to do a little end of season video because I'm terrible at putting out content. If you follow me, I'm sorry. I'm not an everyday person and I won't be in the algorithms of TikTok. I'm not a famous TikToker. I don't aspire to be. And unfortunately I can't be because I'm just not capable of doing enough video content. I can't video and work at the same time. It distracts me. But I did want to put out this video because uh, I sort of wanted to celebrate um, the students that have come through my class and share some uh, some of the amazing pieces. This is just a few of many, um, and I have a few more classes still coming before the summer wraps up. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you are inspired by all of these creative minds. Have a wonderful day.